Imagine a cold winter night in December 1968, a young couple, David Faraday and Betty Lou Jensen, found lifeless in the city of Benicia. This was the beginning of a reign of terror that would grip Northern California for years to come, the commencement of the Zodiac Killer's spree. The Zodiac Killer, a pseudonym for an unidentified serial killer, terrorized Northern California in the late 1960s. Known for his chilling attacks and cryptic letters, he claimed five victims in the San Francisco Bay Area between December 1968 and October 1969. His hunting grounds were diverse, spanning rural, urban, and suburban settings. He targeted young couples and a lone male cab driver, leaving a trail of fear and mystery in his wake. His attacks were brutal and calculated, taking place in Benicia, Vallejo, unincorporated Napa County, and the city of San Francisco proper. Five of his known victims succumbed to their wounds, while two managed to survive his deadly assault. But the Zodiac didn't just kill. He taunted, threatened, and terrorized the public through a series of menacing messages sent to regional newspapers. He demanded his letters be printed, threatening killing sprees and bombings if his demands were not met. Some of these letters contained cryptograms or ciphers, adding another layer to the enigma surrounding him. In these ciphers, he chillingly claimed that he was collecting his victims as slaves for the afterlife. Of the four ciphers he produced, two remain unsolved, while one was cracked only in 2020, more than 50 years after it was sent. His last confirmed letter arrived in 1974, where he claimed to have killed 37 victims. Despite this claim, only five murders have been definitively linked to him. With five confirmed victims and a claim of 37, the Zodiac Killer has become an enduring mystery, his identity as elusive as the ciphers he left behind. The Zodiac wasn't just a killer. He was a cryptographer, a master of mind games who reveled in the fear and confusion he sowed. In 1969, the Zodiac began a chilling correspondence that would become a defining feature of his reign of terror. He sent four encrypted letters to newspapers, not merely content with his crimes, but seeking to create a broader sense of dread. These letters were not ordinary letters. Enclosed were complex ciphers, puzzles that he claimed contained his true identity. In the midst of this correspondence, the Zodiac decided to target a specific individual, Paul Avery, a journalist who had taken a keen interest in the case. As Halloween approached in 1970, Avery received a card, a sort of macabre greeting from the Zodiac. It was a twisted play on the season, a mockery of a holiday known for tricks and treats, wrapped up in the Zodiac's signature brand of terror. But the Zodiac's mind games didn't end there. His ciphers, those intricate puzzles within his letters, remained a mystery for decades. It wasn't until 2020, over 50 years after they were first sent, that one of these ciphers was finally cracked. The message it revealed was as chilling as it was bizarre. The Zodiac spoke of collecting slaves for the afterlife, showing a twisted perspective on death and an alarming lack of fear of it. These cryptic messages, a blend of terror and taunt, have become a key part of the Zodiac's enduring enigma. They offer a glimpse into the mind of a killer who sought not just to kill, but to confound, to disturb, and to etch himself into the annals of criminal history. In the quest to unmask the Zodiac, numerous theories have emerged, pointing fingers at various individuals, but leaving us with more questions than answers. The only suspect ever publicly named by authorities was Arthur Lee Allen, a former elementary school teacher and convicted sex offender who passed away in 1992. Despite the unsettling profile, conclusive evidence linking Allen to the Zodiac's crimes remains elusive. However, the suspect pool in this chilling mystery doesn't end with Allen. Enter Gary Francis Post, a California house painter identified by an investigative team known as the Case Breakers. They point to distinctive scars on his forehead and other circumstantial evidence as indicators of his guilt. Yet not all experts agree with this theory with some dismissing it as unfounded. Another name that has garnered attention is Paul Dorr, a suspect brought to light by author Jarrett Kobeck. Kobeck stumbled upon the Zodiac mystery while researching for a book, leading him on a trail towards Dorr. The similarities between Dorr and the Zodiac, including shared interests and physical descriptions, raise suspicions. Despite the circumstantial nature of the evidence, 
Kobeck stands by his research, offering it to law enforcement in the hope of bringing resolution to this long-standing mystery. These are but a few of the theories that have emerged in the ongoing effort to identify the Zodiac Killer. Each theory, each suspect, offers a tantalizing possibility of resolution, yet definitive proof remains just out of reach. Despite these theories and investigations, the Zodiac's identity remains veiled, his true face hidden behind a mask of conjecture and suspicion. More than five decades have passed since the Zodiac's first confirmed murder, yet his shadow continues to loom over us, his case remaining a tantalizing, unresolved puzzle. In the pursuit of answers, relentless efforts have been made by law enforcement agencies. A noteworthy attempt took place in May 2018, when the Vallejo Police Department embarked on a journey to extract the Zodiac Killer's DNA from the back of the stamps he used to send his cryptic letters. A breakthrough in this avenue could potentially lead to the unmasking of the infamous Zodiac, a prospect that continues to keep both the public and investigators on edge. The case's status varies across different jurisdictions. The San Francisco Police Department, once marking the case as inactive in 2004, has since reopened it, a testament to the case's enduring intrigue. Similarly, the case remains open in the city of Vallejo, as well as in Napa and Solano counties, each seeking to bring closure to this decades-long mystery. The California Department of Justice, too, has maintained an open case file on the Zodiac murders since 1969, a stark reminder of the case's longevity and complexity. The Zodiac Killer's story has captivated a global audience, making it one of the most famous unsolved murder cases in American history. The killer's cryptic messages, the chilling murders, and the cat-and-mouse game with law enforcement have sparked countless theories and investigations, transforming the Zodiac into a dark figure of popular culture. This enduring fascination isn't just about the Zodiac himself, but also a reflection of our collective fascination with the unexplained, the unknown, and the unsolved. The Zodiac Killer, a specter from the past, continues to elude us, his story a chilling reminder of the dark depths of human nature and the enduring allure of unsolved mysteries. Over half a century later, the Zodiac Killer continues to captivate and terrify, his story a chilling enigma that refuses to be forgotten. The saga of the Zodiac is a tapestry woven from threads of violence, mystery, and dark fascination. It's a tale of a figure who terrorized Northern California in the late 60s, leaving behind a trail of death and cryptic messages that have yet to be fully deciphered. This story has seen many chapters. It started with the Zodiac's horrific crimes, from the first confirmed murders of David Faraday and Betty Lou Jensen to his brazen attacks on young couples and a lone cab driver. His reign of terror was marked not just by violence, but by a twisted game of cat and mouse with the authorities as he sent letter after letter filled with threats, boasts, and complex ciphers that continue to baffle experts to this day. Throughout the years, a multitude of suspects have emerged in the Zodiac case, from Arthur Lee Allen to Paul Doerr and even Gary Francis Poste. Yet despite the many theories and investigations, the Zodiac's identity remains a mystery. The investigation is ongoing, with law enforcement agencies and independent researchers alike continuing their efforts to crack this enduring cold case. But the Zodiac's legacy extends beyond his crimes and the ongoing quest to uncover his identity. His story has seeped into popular culture, inspiring books, movies, and countless discussions among true crime enthusiasts. The Zodiac Killer has become a symbol of the unknown, a specter that haunts the collective imagination, a testament to our fascination with the macabre and the unexplained. Will we ever unmask the Zodiac, or will his identity remain as elusive as the stars in the night sky? Only time will tell. For now, the Zodiac Killer remains one of the darkest mysteries of our time, a chilling enigma that continues to haunt us.